when you're when you're young and you don't fit in and people tell you you know to you know cut your hair you know behave stop fighting the system there is a point at which your individuality and your leadership and your your desire for things not to be the way they are and in my case you know I decided a few years ago that the United States wireless system was stupid and broken and arrogant and I was going to change it for me I was told uh, when I was at MIT and I go I went to start this company my my professor said, don't do this, you're going to be a failure. This, you're, this won't work. This will not work. Don't do it. And it's 35 years later, and it's, it's doing it. I fly my own airplane, and, you know, life is pretty good for me right now. You go, you look at a career or a discipline, you know, I'm a doctor. Okay, fine. But I've done so many different things. I, it's a make, when you first learn about it, you think, okay, you're going to be a doctor, you're going to go work, because you go to the doctor and you see what they do. But it's really narrow, and that's not everything that you can do. You can do a ton more. Something else I'd say to make sure you're having fun, you know, like what you do. I mean, for me working at UConn, I I love it. I mean, every day, yes, I have bad days at work, but at the end of every year, I say that I love what I do. So just make sure you're having fun. The persistence that you develop and the tenacity that you develop being an athlete and competing. If you apply that, you know, professionally, you, you will win. The time period from that chair to this chair is amazingly short, uh, incredibly short. And second is that the time here, we talked about how you got here, but what happens when you're here is hard to absorb. But this university I've grown to know over time is an amazing place to develop. Um, I was looking to get out of today new connections, um, you know, meeting some of our alumni because we don't really know them that much. So it was really, really nice to actually get to meet the people who donate to us. And um, they're actually really funny and reminded me a lot of how our team dynamic is now. So that was really great. I have a, a belief that until you're 30 years old, you're mentored. And after 30, you become a mentor. And when Coach O'Brien reached out to us and asked us to engage with the students of today, I said, that's an easy, uh, easy decision. A lot of the kids are asking me what I do for a living, how I, how I got there, um, and what I do is I, I work with in biotechnology with proteins that are responsible for bleeding and clotting disorders. I really got there by taking a risk, taking a big risk, and starting a company that didn't exist. Uh, the uh, the markets that we were in that we're in now did not exist at all. So I took a big risk and, and worked hard, and uh, it paid off. It's a really good opportunity to talk to our alumni about how they went into the future. Like after they came out of school, did they get a job right out of school? How did they like make a network to connect to other people to get a job right away? So that was really helpful. It's a great event for us, the kids, uh, UMass, and giving back I think is really important. And a lot of these kids are in college are young kids, and uh, if we can help in any way. It's meaningful to us and hopefully it's meaning, meaning, meaningful to them as well.